What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of here, welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we had some shenanigans. Um, kind of wants to go bite everybody, but we have a Happy Days free time, so we're going to turn it to pink if we can. Oh, well, I tried. Come on. Cooperate with me. Pink! We gotta get pink for the free time. Uh, you know, we gotta get to the good part, which is pink for the free time. Um. Obviously, we're going to turn it to a different color later because the pink did not actually show very well. But it's okay. Some things just aren't pretty in pink, I guess. But it's fine. So. I don't actually know who we're going to hang out with. Like, we could hang out with some Mugi again. But I kind of want to take this off. I guess I can take this opportunity to hang out with Kibo and get to know Kibo. Because when I tried to hang out with Kibo last time, it was freaking blocked. Like, because Kokiji's hiding, so my guess is he's blocked from this chapter. That would make the most sense to me. So yeah, let's go hang out with Kibo. Because we have a lot of the thing that he likes, so I know we'll actually be good there. What? Did I run past him? I must have. I swore it said he was on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, he's in, in, he might be in his research lab. I thought he said he wasn't going to spend time there, so I just jetted past it. Yeah, he's in it. Okay. Oh, 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 We got another one. Obtained a hidden Monokuma. I don't know why there was one in Kibo's research left. Like, that's crazy. Okay, hi, Kibo. Please wait. Monokuma is an obvious threat, but we need to work it, or be wary of Kokichi's next move. He is a... Persist he is persistent about this game and will be likely interfere with an attempt to end it. Should I hang out with Kibo? Yes. All right. Then let's come up with a plan to defend against Kokichi's interference. Agreed. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Yes. The thing that you liked, but we were blocked off from. Thank you very much. Should we jam humbled or thank you very much. I'm humbled by your generosity. But Did you get it simply because I'm uh, a robot? I will report you to the robophobic. I will report your robophobic actions. Since you have come to speak to me, I can only assume that you've taken some sort of interest in me. Well, uh, well, you are a robot after all. I understand. Indeed. Curiosity is a useful human quality. Very well. I shall hear you. Hmm. I feel as though he's talking down to me a little. Well then. Oh, first, I'll explain all my functions. As a robot, I am somewhat extraordinary compared to you. But... But I remember you saying something about having the strength of an old person. <laughs> it's true, but... Considering the tragedy that occurred during the trial production, it was a logical design choice. Well then. Now, first is my visual acuity. I have 2013 vision. Impressive, no? Really? You think so? I believe that's pretty normal. Why? What are you talking about? Over 50% of high school students have less than 20-20 vision. No matter what, my usual acuity will always be 2013. It, if it got any worse, I suppose that would count as a malfunction? Listen closely. My next question will definitely surprise you, Shuichi. Please raise your hand. Huh? My what? Please. I want you to put your hand in front of my mouth. Uh, like um, this? Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, We're going Super Saiyan. Lukewarm breath grazed across my hand. Well, Kibo's a robot, so it might not be breath. How about this? How about this? In addition to my warm breath, it also functions as a dryer. Mm. 
I see. Please wait. Now, now. You can't be surprised just yet, okay? Case in point, my hand can turn into a multi-tool with both hands. I have 20 tools at my disposal. My finger can de detect wafting aromas and even distinguish between the different scents. I also have music player for when I'm bored, so I can I can even play tapes and records. Neat, huh? I'm still thinking about how weird your breath felt, so I don't really know about all your other functions. <laughs> don't be too surprised. After all, I am the ultimate robot. That's amazing. Uh, okay. Yeah, amazing. Well, of right. Course. I am the per I am Professor Ida Bashi's masterpiece. After all, the professor's technology has given me the functions to support a, a life of comfort. Mm. A life of comfort. I see. That makes sense. But However, I... my greatest attribute is actually not a function at all. Huh? It isn't. That's. You can't tell what it is? How about this? It's my compact, lightweight design that makes uh, my various functions possible. This is what truly drives Professor Inab our Inabashi's technology revolution. Well, now that you understand just how amazing I am? Or now, don't you understand how amazing I am? I don't know how to respond to his boasting. Maybe someone like Mew would really appreciate his mecha or mechanics. Oh, Mew definitely did. Mew certainly did. Kibo and I parted ways, and I returned to my room. This is the nighttime I so spoke of. Whoa. Dot to dot, dot to dot. Uh oh. Monokuma isn't here? Wait. What was that? N no. Is the plan compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure everyone's gathered there. That's what I expected. I expected this nighttime to be kind of crazy. I mean, like, I mean, hey, I've got two of the hidden Monokumas in the same chapter. I'm pretty proud of that. Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi, are you headed to the gym? Okay. Yeah, I am. Hey. I remember hearing Mew getting all worked up about it, but in Kibo's research lab, there's a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? If he used those, he wouldn't have to depend on Maki in fights. Well. It's true, bud. Kibo said he doesn't want anything to too sci-fi, so. But in this situation, maybe he should get over that already. Well, we shouldn't force him to do anything he doesn't want to do. One man's mo is another man's trash. Hmm, wait, how does that go? Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna head out to the gym. Damn, Samugi. I, what I love about Samugi is she can be like harsh when she needs to be, but typically she's all like pretty happy-go-lucky. This is what's going on. That weird flashing is what's getting to me. here i hope you're all ready oh. are those weapons oh yeah oh so you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons we could use against monokuma got it. yeah that's right they got anyway let's get started you better be ready uh you don't mean to ready to die right Idiot. what no i mean ready to fight and win obviously <sighs> ready to fight and win yeah yeah we challenged him a bunch of times but it never worked out right that's because we gave up listen up but this time we can't give up this is our final chance. We're gonna beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> what a cool awakening! Uh, I was planning on ending the killing game at two. Upon hearing that voice, we spun all on a dime. We saw him standing before us. Kokichi! You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. You little... What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least, if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. Th that's... Is that a bomb? Uh, b -b bomb? Yep, 
It's exactly that. Which means... If you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. So? Wait, uh, what was I gonna tell you? Don't lie. You're the one who said it! You little... You? What are you gonna do with that bomb? Ah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna tell you my purpose. Uh, See? You know how it says in the rules that the killing game will only continue if there's only two left? But, but it never mentioned anything about how many you can kill, right? Huh? What? Well, you know. So here's a question for everyone. <laughs> Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. It can't be. It can't be you. What did you say? Are you planning to kill us all with that bomb? Are you serious? Then the way you're going to end this killing game is... I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. Kill everyone! <laughs> if I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? Well then, who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. Who would ever agree to the plan? Mm. Even if you threaten to destroy me, I have no intention of being manipulated by you. Why do you? I am scared of dying, but nothing good will come from surviving with you. What was that? I also don't want to survive with someone who did such a thing to Gata. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that all right? Kokichi, you don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. Oh, what a surprise. I didn't think this would go exactly as I predicted. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. Huh? Determination. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to see if you guys were still determined enough to end this killing game. Uh, so let's work together and use those anti amatakuma weapons. The ultimate anti amatakuma weapons. Could it be... The ultimate anti monokuma weapons. Are you talking about these hammers? Cut it out. Cut it out. There's no reason to listen to him, guys. Uh... Come on. It's, at least hear me out. This is Muse Memento. Mm -hmm. uh, Muse Memento? Yeah. Yeah. They're called Electro Hammers, and they are something like I asked you, Mew, to invent. How exciting. They're pretty incredible invention, actually. It disables any electronic machine on contact. Huh? <gasps> disables electronic machines? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that includes chemo, too. That should be helpful against Monokuma, right? What? Huh? Helpful against Monokuma? Hold up. Hey, how did you know we were going to fight Mona? Ah. Oh, well, I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discussing it. <laughs> The fact you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But... but I was just so elated when I heard you guys wanted to fight Monokuma. Because that was my plan all along. Uh, that's how I wanted to end this killing game. Uh, and that's why I asked Mew to make this to defeat Monokuma and the Monokubs. Stop it. Don't lie. You've been fixating on this killing game the whole time. Is that really something Mew made? Aren't you lying about that too? Huh? Are you going to doubt that too? <gasps> Of course. Have you gotten everything you've done up till now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, how do you expect us to believe that? Oh, uh, that doesn't make sense. If Mew made that weapon, why didn't she... Why didn't she use that instead of murdering somebody? Hmm. Yeah. If there were weapons to fight against Monokuma, we all should have fought together, right? Yes. This is all your fault. Huh? Our fault. Oh, man. I told Mew, too, you know. Around the time that I asked her to invent this. I told her that we should fight against Monokuma, but she... Uh, what a pain in my ass! Why am I gonna make this again? Well, you know. Quick complaining. This is all but unfuckable ugly... Or, this is all an unfuckable ugly bitch like you is good for anyway. What? Oh, okay. But... But this is so exciting. Uh, when it's done, we can probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. Don't be stupid. I don't... I, if you're gonna do it, do it yourself. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if we promise to work together. Someone will betray us. Betray us and 
can kill one of us. Besides, this weapon won't make a difference if we're killed by an excess cell before we can use it. I just invented it because I was asked to. I have no intention of defying Monokuma. There's no way we can beat him, and I cannot afford to die here anyway. Listen up! Not when I still need to invent something that's going to change the world. So if you want to defy Monokuma, go do it yourself. Come with but me. But if it does work out, please come help me, okay? I'll do anything, anything to thank you. Someone will betray us. That's what she said. Well, the exosils were still moving at the time, so I don't really blame her. But she was just too afraid to trust you guys. Mm. The fear of betrayal overcame her. That's why she bloodied her hands in this killing game. Damn. That idiot. Well, you know. But you guys are different. You guys wouldn't lose to the fear of your friends betraying you, right? You showed your determination to fight together and you ignored my advice from earlier. N no. And you would lie about killing all of us just to test that theory? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I want you guys to do your best. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. What are you saying? You probably just lied about talk or about talking to me. Ah. Oh boy. Oh by the way, the electric hammers weren't the only thing you made. <laughs> she made this thing too. What? The bomb too? <laughs> <laughs> this is not exactly a bomb though. It's even called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic, or electromagnetic waves. Uh, for two hours, any of all any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will can be completely disabled. It is a perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them, My bad. so I need to use them carefully. You guys will settle for the electro hammers. Please wait. Settle. We have no intention of using suspicious looking hammers. But... Are you sure? You can use these not only against Monokuma, but also to get through that underground tunnel. Huh? The underground tunnel. See? You can use the electro hammers to destroy the electronic traps in that place. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, are you finally starting to believe me? But. But be careful. The electro hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use the hammer against an exocell, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? Once the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to charge, so watch out for that. Um, anyway, I'm done explaining, so I'll hand the electro hammers over. Well, you know. I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore either. Huh? Won't interfere. See? I'll be looking from a distance, or something like that, if <laughs> you don't want me around anyway. No. Wait, before you went off again, there's something I need to ask you. What was the writing in the courtyard? If I remember The message that Gonta found, this world is mine, I believe it said. Did you write that? And if you did, why? Hmm? Huh? What's that? I've got no idea. Don't lie! Don't play dumb, your name is on it. You've gotta be the one who did it. But... But what, I wouldn't gain anything from writing a message like that, would I? That would just make you guys suspect me as the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind. Because? Yeah, this world is mine, Kokichi Oma? Wouldn't that seem like the mastermind? Ah. Oh, I know. This is all Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other again. But don't worry. I truly want to end this healing game. Suddenly, a dark shadow slid between us and... Quick as a flash. Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game. That's all. If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. <laughs> Maki roll, cut it out. You'll get killed if you don't. I told you we can't play this killing game. That's just what Monokuma wants! Maki let go of Kokichi's body. Fell in a heap. Or and let go of Kokichi's body. Fell in a heap on the floor. Ugh, jeez. You're such a meanie. How could you do something like that to a friend? What? Friend? As if. You guys may not think it that way, but I see you all as my friends. That's why... I'll be back. 
I won't interfere anymore, so please continue to walk the path you believe in. Kohichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. He left behind the electro hammers. Hmm. What should we do? No. You mean about the hammers? They gotta be booby trapped somehow. Hmm. But looking at it, it definitely seems like something Miu made. Hey. Either way, I refuse to believe anything he says. Ah. But you know, if it's not a lie, then isn't it our best chance of escape? Huh? Or our one chance at escape? What? Listen up. If we use the electro hammers, maybe we can get through the underground passage. So why don't we try what it? What is it? He's bleeding again. You mean actually do what Kokichi is suggesting? What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. But why are you going to believe Kokichi? But you know. Our goal is to escape with everyone, right? If there's no chance, or if there's a chance we can do it, then we gotta take it. We don't have enough time. Huh? Time. Uh, okay. Yeah. With Monokuma, like, he's gonna get it, he's gonna get in our way soon. Hmm. True. This is our best chance now that he is not making any obvious movements. Hey, so... so let's try the underground passage with the hammers. We'll get to the outside world. You're right. You're right. Let's see if we can escape. We'll find out the secret of the outside world for ourselves. Let's see. We don't know if it's a lie or a truth, though. The secret of the outside world? The despair Ganta mentioned. Was it a lie? Is it a truth? We have to get out. You're right. You're right. We gotta try. All right. Yeah, that's all we've got. Well, the secret of the outside world might just be a lie anyway. We must do it. Either way, we should at least try. So we won't have any regrets. What should we do? What do you want to do, Maki? That punk. If the hammer is a trap, then I'll really kill that ass. Come uh, on, you man. can't kill him. Just punch him. Okay, okay. I know, I know. I just gonna go, I'm just i just going to beat him to a bloody pulp. I see. I see. If everyone else is going to do it, I understand. Yeah. Then I'll prepare myself to go to the underground passage again. Got it. Right on. However, I'm still consumed, uh, concerned that Monokuma has been so quiet. He hasn't shown himself at all since the morning announcement. Where is he? I suppose there's no point in worrying about that. Not if I want to focus on moving forward. It's the only thing I can do. Keep moving forward. All right, all right let's get going. We're going to escape from that underground passage for sure this time. Had to give my triumphant shout as we grab the electro yes. hammers. Let's go. Mm. I'll be cheering for you. That's not it. Himiko, you need to come too. We left the gym in high spirits. All right. I need to go too. I should head to the underground passage. I took the final electro hammer and left the gym. Excuse me. Mantle cover. Wait, what? Oh, cool. They are. They are over there. I was like, what the heck? Is it over on the side? It is. All right. All right. Let's get started. What should we do? Are we really gonna be okay? Uh, what are we afraid? Or what are you afraid of? Of course it's gonna be okay, actually, right? You seem anxious too, Himiko. Huh. There's no need to worry. Of course it's gonna be a little bit dangerous, but don't worry we've about got it. the oh, all these ultimates here. If we all work together, everything will be right. Ah. Those words. Yeah. Yeah. We can finally fulfill Kayati's wish. So let's work hard and escape this place together. And once we get out of here, let's make it to the outside world. Why don't we all stay friends? That's right. Yes. We made that promise together. That's right. Our promise is to work together and get out of here and become friends. I see. Now that this... Or, <laughs> now it is time to fulfill that promise. Hmm. I'll cheer for you guys. I told you. You need to do it too. You need to do it too. That's right. Okay, that's exactly right. To keep the promise I made to Kayede, I will never give up. I can't give up. I've come this far. I have no choice but to believe. With the hammer that Mew invented, I know we can do it. I have to believe that. I kept repeating that to myself as I stepped within the tunnel.
There we go. We did it. We finally made our way out of the tunnel. It was so long, we thought there was no end. But there was an end indeed. And in the end, there was. Huh? Is this the exit? That's right. It seems like it. Look there. Oh my. Oh no. It's a door on the other side of the door. Got it. Yeah, probably one of the outside world. Yeah. We did it! We can finally escape! Yeah. Don't get your hopes up. We don't know what it actually is in the outside world. Sorry. Or if the door actually is in the outside world. Yeah, you're right. We don't know what is on the or what the outside world looks like now. Huh. Yeah, it's fine. Monica Moon is probably just lying to us. The skies are over the skies over the academy are normal. So meteorites are probably gone. Everything is fine out there. Um, anyway, let's open the door. We'll have plenty of time to talk afterwards. Mm -hmm. This looks similar to the electric barrier in the front of the exosol hangar. Unless we disable it, we won't be able to open that door. All right. Let's look around. Oh, that's why. Okay. It's we gotta find some way to get past this barrier. Could it be? This is a control panel for the barrier. If it's like the one in the Exosil hangar, I should be able to disable the barrier with a passcode. Mm -hmm. A password? Does anyone know it? Huh. Huh. We don't need that. Yeah. If it's electronic, then we gotta destroy it with one of these hammers. Okay. It seems the lock is controlled electronically, so we can use the electro, electro hammer to open it. All right, let's destroy this control panel. The hammers are going to open this dumb big gate. And everything will be over, and we can say goodbye to the Academy in this killing game. That's true. Finally. This death is going to end. Yeah. Yeah, at least we can return to our normal lives. Normal lives. Beyond the door is our normal, peaceful, boring lives. We'll be able to go home. Well, we'll be able to go home to these normal lives. The secret to the outside world couldn't be that awful, right? Let's go! Let's go! It's finally time to graduate from the Academy of Lies! With that, kind of swung the electro hammer and ah! smashed down to the control panel. Lock disabled. Ah. Yay, the door's unlocked. All right. Now we just gotta open the gate. Let's all work together. Yes, yes we can do it. Right, finally, finally we can get out. We all ran to the door and with our own hands and with our own strength, we opened the door. The door to the future. A future of hope and despair. There it is. What is this? What's going on? This, what is this? Ugh, I can't breathe. Ugh. The door is now locked. Barely conscious. Barely conscious we heard the sound of our head in our heads. What? What happened? Congrats! Uh, you finished the killing game! Uh, are you okay? Uh, get it together! Wouldn't it be funny if you died here, you know? See? Your lives are very precious to humanity. Huh? 
What humanity? <laughs> well then, the fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal everything. Uh, I shook my head, dizzy. The ground spun under me, and I managed to get to my feet. And at the same time, What was that just now? What's going on? Uh, on the other side of that door was... Damn. Where even are we? What in the world is going on? Hey, Good morning, everyone! How are you all feeling? Terrible, huh? <laughs> of course you are! Because you know now know the truth about the outside world! Huh? The truth of the outside world. <laughs> You saw it, right? The outside world you guys were desperately longed for doesn't exist. What are you talking about? What do you mean it doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now is a truth, okay? Okay. Everything began with that dis- or when that despair came falling from the sky. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Please, wait! Hold on, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Hmm. Jeez, uh, you better not interrupt me again, or I'm not going to tell you anything. I got that? <laughs> um, Kibo, we should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> Continuing on where I left off. The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race. So they decided to implement a plan. The Gopher Project. A plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end. So that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. The Gover Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the human race. Sixteen young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. These Adams and Eves of the New World were known as the ultimate students. But the sixteen students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? That's just hell right there. So then, the 16 students decided to flee from the project. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents. To become normal students. Hehehe! <laughs> But it was around that time a certain cult organization arose in power! Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. That's when the ultimate hunt began. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project spread misinformation claiming that all 16 students had died. That was our memory of the funeral. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students, and carry out the Gopher Project. The Ark's launch succeeded, despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth. The 16 Ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. How exciting! And that Ark is the true identity of the Academy! Huh? What? The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? The whole academy is one giant spaceship colony? Uh -huh. 
What are you saying? What? You really think that I'll believe that? <laughs> well, hold on now. This story isn't done yet. By the way. Oh, do you think it's strange? Why do you think the killing game happened on the Ark? Humanity's last hope. Means. Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project made one terrible oversight. A horrible person hiding among the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? What? How exciting! The leader of the cult organization trying to crush the Gopher Project. And they hid among one of the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on this ship. Yeah. Yep. That robot is Monokuma. See? Originally, the 16 students were placed in a state of cold sleep, and they were only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. But Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back to the ruined Earth. Mm. Although the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And now they're here. Hold up. If we return to Earth, that means... What you guys just saw? That's Earth now. W what did you say? That's Earth after a few hundred years, while we were in cold sleep. An Earth destroyed by meteorites, without oxygen or living creatures. An Earth without any cities, or any people you knew. That is the truth of the outside world. Which means... That there's no place for your bastards to go home to. That's why it's so pointless to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore. That's insane. What? Doesn't exist. Yeah. The earth, the humans have died ages ago. Except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Ah. Well, last seven. Survivors of humanity. It's a lie. That's a lie. It's definitely a lie. Man. I already told you uh, I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know. So that means. Anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cold I mentioned earlier? <laughs> that leader is me. Huh? Anyway. Which means the mastermind who snuck Monokuma onto this arc is. <laughs> Me. But how? Kokichi, you're the m m mastermind? Well, you know. I mean, I didn't want to crush the gopher project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst possible way. <laughs> so I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun. What could possibly be worse than the last 16 humans? Or what could possibly be worse than the last 16 humans or survivors of humanity killing each other? What? What? You. It's a lie! It's a lie! It's all gotta be a lie! Ah. Oh, you want me to lie now? Oh, but I told you! Or, but you guys always told me not to do that! <laughs> I'll show you the refutable evidence that I am the mastermind. Kokichi took what looked to be a remote control out of its pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Exosols? What's going on? I thought only the Mono Cubs could control the Exosols. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. Then... So, you really are the mastermind. Don't tell me. You were always suspicious from the start. For you to be the mastermind? Oh, man. Oh, looks like you don't believe me, Suichi. Jeez, I'm so disappointed. I even gave you a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. How boring. I was waiting for with so much anticipation for you guys to see or for or to see when you guys would figure it out. What is it? Hint. You left this message for us? Maybe. Uh, but I guess that precious hit went to waste. All because you bastards trusted each other. Huh? huh? Hmm. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. Uh, 
You guys could have realized I was the mastermind earlier. There could have been less victims. <laughs> Actually, Kaede had the right idea to try and kill the mastermind at the start. <laughs> Too bad, though. If she Oh, they killed him, me, and then the killing game would have ended. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, this is the truth behind the killing game. Well, this turned out not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with at least 16 survivors of humanity, you know. Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth and we were just being led around by you this whole time? Oh, are you mad? So, what are you going to do about it? Shut up! Shut up, shut up! Of course I'm mad. Always messing around. Don't you think, or don't think you've won just because you've got the exocells on your side. Because with the electro hammers, what? what? What's happening? Wow. Oh, typical Kaido. I guess things aren't going your way. Lucky me, you ran out of juice. What? The electro hammer. At that moment, his electro hammer powered down, and it not just Kaido's. Every electro hammer powered down at once. Well, you know. I told you, didn't I? The problem is that it runs out of battery pretty quickly. But but that lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a little bit nervous. Did you, you calculate that too? My bad. Sorry, Kaido. Your tiny little brain is just a little too different from mine. Please don't. Don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't solve anything either, you know. You can't resurrect the dead. You can't turn an Earth back to normal. Right? right? Always messing around. Even if that's the case. Don't screw I can't up. get over the... I can't get over it if I don't punch you. Kaido. Kaido, wait. I tried to stop Kaido before he ran off, but... I couldn't grab him in time. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> uh, your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first, huh? Stop it! Stop! But Maki's scream was in vain. Before our eyes, Kaido charged at the Exosol and was smacked down. He hung limply from the Exosol's hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. <laughs> These Exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Give Kaido, huh? Maki. Give it back. Give Kaido back! Her screaming, or her eyes screaming murder. Maki glared at Kokichi and moved toward him. Maki. No, Maki, even if you, you die? let go. Do you want to die? Uh, Maki! It's no use. I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Shuichi! Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But, but your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the master's identity. <laughs> They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. And that is the true ending. Mm. Ending. What did you say? If this is the ending, then what we're supposed to do now? If the world is destroyed, then we're the last human beings left, right? <laughs> what are we supposed to do from now on? Mm. How about doing anything you want? Mm. I know I started this whole thing, but I'm bored now. So sorry about that, guys. That's why I wanted to reveal the truth. I wanted to see the utter despair on your faces. Yeah. Yuppers, I'm totally satisfied now. So you guys need to go to be free doing whatever you want. Wait. Hold on. You were the one that started all of this? That's so irresponsible. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that too. 
Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. So that means the killing game is over. Now you can do whatever you please. Huh? I don't know what to do. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaido? Ah. Oh, I just want to chill him out for a bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. So that means... Anyway, Shuichi, can I have the Exosol hangar alarm remote back? Huh? What? See? I was thinking it'd be a perfect place to keep Kaido in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Shuichi. Shuichi! Hand it over, Shuichi! Bastard. Don't give it to him. Well, you know. You know what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? This school is mine! I am the king! I, Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles! Yes! This world is mine! Sorry. Sorry, Maki. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> Thanks! Kokichi's evil and yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. And then, he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us, and left. He left us there with the truth, the truth of our despair. Are you okay? Himiko, are you okay? Mm -hmm. uh, am I okay? Uh... How, how could I be okay? The outside world, everything's destroyed. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Everyone at school, everyone in my neighborhood, they're all dead. Uh... Calm down, Himiko. What am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. Uh, Baki. Um, Coward. Uh, okay. I know. But... I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. Which means... The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship where the 16 survivors of humanity... Unfortunately... The killing game we've been playing. Why pit the remnants of humanity against each other for a world to no longer exist? <laughs> and the mastermind who engineered all of this is forcing us to participate? Is Kokichi? Oh, no. uh, I can't even... My mind feels like it's about to short circuit. Me too. Uh, um... Samuki. Are you okay? She's got a thousand yard stare. It's no use talking to her right now. The whole truth was revealed. The conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world. Where are the only humans left alive? Trying to get outside was pointless. And we played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. Nonsense. So what did all the others die for then? <laughs> so this is the despair Gata felt. So much despair you want to die. It really is just like that. This is... If this is... If it's like this, it would be better just to die or if I died a lot earlier. <laughs> then it's all over now. 
That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There will be no more death, no more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is, we should have all just died a long time ago. I don't even remember how I got back to my room, but before I knew it, I felt my body in the bed, numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair, but the sleep came anyway. Uh, did you know that when you talk to someone on a cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? Their voice is converted using synthetic sound while you're both communicating. By breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns, the phone reassembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker's voice. This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make, this, I mean, to make the call possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon. They're all the same for flavor. The only difference is the aroma and the food coloring of the dye. Do you think that these facts are lies? Do you deny that these facts are lies? <laughs> they would, what in the world would it or what would the world be like if all lies were denied outright? I bet it would be very lonesome a very lonesome world. Lies are what make the world go round. Oh god. Dot 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 dot. Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point to make morning announcements now. So it is really over. There's no point to this killing game anymore. Because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. 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 This is an epilogue. And all that's left is to take up time. With what a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. Dot dot dot. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Dot 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 dot. I wonder what Kaido is doing. Uh, okay. That's right. I wonder if Kaido is okay. Is he? Dot dot dot. It's no use. My mind isn't working in my body. Oh my god! Whoa! If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're already doing it wrong! Uh, your life doesn't have a me- or need a meaning, it just needs a purpose! Uh, in other words, you just need something to live for! You can't live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams- Or you can live for spending time- or spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games! Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for! If you say Danganronpa's your reason to live, I couldn't be happier! <laughs> it's been a real pleasure doing business with ya! Dot 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 it's warning. Dot dot dot. How long have I been like this? Sh I should get up, or I might not ever get up again. I... I don't care. If I just kill my... Huh? What? My body reacted reflexively as I heard the doorbell. Ugh! Oh. Oh. Somewhat surprised that I even managed to get out of bed, I went to the uh, door. Um... Who could it be? And that is what we're going to find out in the next episode. This is a longer episode because I couldn't freaking, you know, actually run to the freaking thing. But anyway, I love you all. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next episode when we uh, figure out who the heck's at that door this morning. Probably Maki. That's my guess. But love you all. And we'll see you guys then.